The Legend of Zelda. Let's get back into it. I think that's a death counter there. We're at 120 deaths, which isn't great, but yeah, we'll try and figure it out. So last time we finally unlocked the secrets of uh, Dungeon 1. Oh boy, I have to get used to the controls again here. Sword is A. Okay. Why? Okay. Alright, yeah. Right, good start, good start to this uh, Legend of Zelda. Um, now, I wasn't able to defeat the dragon in the fourth dungeon just yet. So I think what I'll do is go to the fairy fountain to heal back all of my hearts. It should be here somewhere. And then try and get to the dungeon at full health. And if possible, even to the dragon at full health, but that's going to be asking a lot with, you know, how well I play this game. Right, we're healed back to full. That arrow isn't a threat. These guys here usually are. Let's head down here. Southwards. Now, this bridge can be difficult sometimes. Yeah. Thinking that no heart dropped. I think this was the fourth dungeon here, wasn't it? Or is this the sixth one? We'll head in and see. No, this is the fourth one. Right, we are half a heart short, unfortunately, but hopefully we can regain that. Not with bats, I don't think. With bats, we're more likely to lose more hearts. Um, yeah, these ones shouldn't be too tough, as long as... I don't miss play. Right, there's a flipping... Okay, we're not doing well. We're not doing well to start off. Oh, we just got that bat, and we got that one too. Please give us a heart at least. For the trouble? No, they don't. Now we do have the map unlocked here, so we should find the path pretty easily. And again, loads of bats. I want to light this room. Oh, do I really have to light up the room? I don't think I do. Okay, I'm just spamming attack now, which you know, isn't great exactly. would prefer if all of these bats sort of... Yeah, alright. They can be taken out with the boomerang, thankfully. Right. They're all gone. These ones can't be taken out. They're just it's stunned. I want to take them on just to see if we get a heart or not. Right, we got that one. And we don't get a heart. We're three hearts down already, which isn't great. Oh, these jellies were good at healing me back last time, weren't they? And let me see, what was it? No, not select as pause there. Switch to this candle. And light up the room, just so we can see them. And then should be able to take them on. There's rupees. There's the ladder that we got last time, which allows us to clear. There we go. Alright, we freeze them. More rupees, but no hearts, unfortunately. We do have a few bombs still, I think. I'm going to use the light here again. Oh, I was going to throw it forwards to hopefully hit this gargoyle or whatever it is. Vampire. Oh, I have the... Yeah, I was trying to throw the boomerang there, but I don't have it equipped. We have to light up the room. That thing doesn't hurt us, thankfully. What was in here? Oh yeah, loads of these. So I'm gonna switch back to the... Oh, that's the wrong button. Boomerang here. And try and take these on. So I might still be missing some key item. those bats. Oh, that's some launch in the boomerang. Nope, not at all. Oh, we take damage from the bat, of course. 
So we're essentially down to the amount of hearts we had when we started. So the whole trip to the ferry, I guess, was worth it. Oh, why did I throw that downwards? Okay, there we go. Oh, I have to get to you quickly. I did all of that without peeking the mic, that's great. I did press pause, however. Right. Um, that door just opens for some reason. Right, now don't attack this old guy. Walk into the waterfall. There is no waterfall here, is there? Because I, I went searching for a waterfall last time. But I feel like that old guy always gives advice on the current dungeon that one is in. Um, I'll just throw boomerangs at them. Alright, there is water everywhere. Wow, that boomerang throw was amazing. Let's light up the room quickly just so we can see where we're at. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here. But this next room, I think, is of course. So we're at almost no health for the dragon, which isn't great. We also only have nine rupees, so no real way of attacking the dragon either. Oh boy. Okay. I might have switched to the bombs just slightly too early as I take more damage. One heart. We're on a half a heart. <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay, we didn't even get to the dragon first try. Continue. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah, this leads us back here, but only at three hearts. I mean, the dragon is the next thing to do. That's pretty sure or safe to assume. Oh, come on. We have a few more rupees now, but not enough to. Why didn't he turn? Alright. Of course. Right. Um, let me just think. I mean, it is. Oh, Take another arrow, but this is the way forward. To beat the fourth gym, uh, dungeon, we have found the sixth one, but it is, I think, pretty difficult compared to the one we're at now. We don't know where the fifth one is yet, so that's something we have to look for also. Oh yeah, launching swords. I keep forgetting that when I'm at full health. I can't hit that with it though. Right, so straight ahead. And we have these in here. But with the launching swords, hopefully we can take them on. Glad that worked out. I uh, don't even want to attempt this. Oh! Right. We lost the heart. Should I attempt to regain it? I probably should. But I'm probably going to lose more hearts doing so. I don't even know if bats can drop anything because it doesn't feel like it. Oh, we take another half of heart damage. Maybe if we take them all on. No. Okay. So we lost our throwing swords already. I might get stuck behind the thing there. Okay. Make it 
breakthrough at slightly better health. Right, now these jellies. Quite like them because they drop at least rupees or something. Oh, we get a heart. Very nice. And a freeze for the other jellies. Okay, we're half a heart short. I also don't know exactly how many. Oh, of course we get stuck. And then we take loads of damage. in the wrong direction while using the sword. What was... Oh, this room is where we got the map, isn't it? The... And these aren't the good jellies that drop stuff. Come on. I should just proceed, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? But I mean, what is this room all about? This seems so suspicious that that there is no other hidden things around here. Why is this just empty? Oh no! I just wasted one of my bombs. But you know, classic play by myself. Walk into the waterfall. I still don't quite get what that means. I only have two bombs, so I think there's no way I beat the dragon. But we'll give it a try. Oh yeah, yeah. Keep forgetting about that one. Misplay Central is where we're at today. Oh, turn! Link. Oh boy. Please give me hearts or something to... I have to take all of these on in order to unlock this door. Oh, I don't! Okay, so I could potentially just sneak through that room without taking them on if I'm dodgy enough. So what we're going to do is die immediately to the dragon. <laughs> That's not what I went to say, but... Right, so I think we just have to attempt this dungeon because I don't know where the fifth one is. And... The sixth one's probably too difficult right now. Yeah, just gonna keep trying this one. Walk into the waterfall. Hopefully we'll come across a waterfall eventually. I did walk into a waterfall in the last part, but it was the woman that scammed me once more. I'm decent enough at getting back to the dungeon of full health. Well, we'll see here. Oh boy, that almost hit me in the back. Oh, look at that dodging. Boy, that was great. And we're into the dungeon at full health. But... That doesn't necessarily mean a lot. Also, I only have two bombs. I probably should have purchased a few more bombs. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we danced around all of them. Now, can we get through here before the bats swarm the door? Yeah. Now, what I'm gonna do here is a little sneaky. I'm gonna get stuck behind this thing where they shouldn't be able to reach me, but my throwing swords should still get there. Damn, too late. Just gonna try and take out that sitting bat. Come on, keep launching them. Right, where is that bat going? Please sit down again. 
Oh, we t I don't know how we took that out, but we take it out. Right, this is the jelly room. I should just switch to the light, shouldn't I? Rather than trying to force playing through this. A fairy. Oh, please give me the fairy now. Oh, please stay here, fairy. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, they can drop a fairy. So maybe that's also a play to replay that room until I get a fairy from one of them. I'll take that one out and then hope that these bats don't hurt me on the way to the do. -do. Damn, I just got hit on the way through. Now this room should be skippable. Yeah. This room has nothing in it. This is the waterfall. So I don't think I've gotten this far with this amount of hearts yet. Um, what's this room again? Oh, it isn't. I thought it was the one with the, the things, the spikes. Just keep going. This is the spike room, so keep walking. Right, didn't help. Okay, we're two hearts down. This room should be skippable if I do it wisely. That wasn't wisely. Bots there. In quick succession. I'm just not great at preserving my health. That's what I've learned here. But maybe I do have to take on those. Oh no, I forgot to switch the weapon. Switch weapon to bombs. And I want to try and interact with that. That didn't work. It also didn't work. Did I take damage from that? No. Okay, so I can dance. Not, not quite as good as I thought I could. That damage at all. Okay. Can hit me when I'm back there. I was hoping that was like a we cheat. Yeah, I just have to defeat that dragon and then we're fine, but I have no bombs and I have very little rupees. And also when looking at this menu, there's the raft and then there's the ladder. But there's a gap between them as if there was something else there that maybe I've missed. Because the raft, I think, was from the third dungeon. The ladder was from... Oh, but I got an upgraded boomerang, didn't I? M2, I think. So I don't really know. Maybe I should explore a little. I really don't know what the play is. Well, certainly not to go back in there with no bombs. I think the bombs are the best weapon for the dragon. I think there's a shop up here, isn't there? Yeah. Let's see what we can get for 30 rupees. We can get an out. I wouldn't mind buying purchasing that shield. What is this? 80? Is that for upgraded arrows or something? Probably is. But I can't afford, I can afford bombs, but if that's a single bomb for 20 rupees, that's four. Well, that was not really worth it. So that was slightly silly. Oh, there was a secret shop up here also, isn't there? I'll take on this guard or whatever it is, guardian. Oh, and all these spinners, I forgot about these. They love spawning right in front of me, as far as I remember. Oh no. 
Not these ones. Right, where are they going to spawn? Oh, I'm at full health again, that's right. I want to take these on before I spawn these guardians into existence. Because I think, yeah, every time I approach from the back, they turn, do they? Oh, or I thought not all of them do, but I think it is all of them. As long as I do that, it seems like I can defeat them without taking damage. Right, maybe not all of them. Right, let's see what this shop here has. Boy, this is really expensive. Now the meat would allow me to heal back. We have an extra key anyway. I don't know what this is, but I don't even have close to 250 rupees. And I don't know how to get to 250 rupees quickly. I should heal at the fairy fountain before going back to the dungeon. Could have purchased maybe a potion from that old lady to drink before I go into the room, but I, I kind of think I did, do need bones to take on the dragon. Also, I don't know how close exactly I was to defeating it. How many hits it takes exactly. So we'll just head in and try again. was hoping they wouldn't walk towards the door. So that's going to be what I'm going to try and do. Dodge everything to the doors. Now dodging in this room is very difficult, so I'm going to take these on. Just spam, just spam. Spam, 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 spam. There's the bats gone. So now these ones might be dodgeable now. Especially when I can knock them back like that. Now this is the yeah this room again. So here I want to use the candle just so I can see what's going on. Make sure I don't burn myself. More rupees. There's another watch, which is great. And a fairy. Why are they spawning fairies when I'm at full health, but not when I really need one? Okay. This room hopefully I can get through. Oh, don't walk back. Please don't walk back. Okay. Through. Oh, I got through. Right, last time I lost half a heart there. If I walk around this way. Yeah. Move it into the corner. This doesn't have any enemies. This is the old man. As long as I don't throw a sword at him, I shouldn't get hurt. Which I'm kind of inclined to press A in that situation because he's talking to me. As long as I avoid doing so. Should have just dashed for the exit here, shouldn't I? Maybe that was the play. Oh, look at that. Are we actually going to get to the dragon at full health? Oh no, we aren't because I keep getting hurt there. Is there even a way to avoid getting out there? No, come on. Don't start this again. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't use be approaching from behind and things. Horrible bots, that's what they are. Of course, I get hit by the vampire thing again. I should have had the boomerang equipped for this room because I am now almost all the way down again. Most of these dungeon boss battles were quite well, easy 
um, for example, uh, a bomb would do a lot of damage to them. So should I walk in, throw the flame at it, see what that does, and then use bombs or something, and maybe then bow and arrow. We'll see how long I can survive. We'll get in front of it here and throw that. That wasn't didn't hit the body, so that was a waste. I'll switch to the bombs. Here. That's not close enough to the body, is it? Okay, I did a lot of damage to myself, unfortunately. Now, what else would I have? I'd have bow and arrow. But I don't know if that's a good strategy. I guess we'll try it. I mean, that sounds like it is being deflected. Thought that was the end. It sort of feels like I have to hit the head of them. Because they seem like one of those classic video game worms where there's individual parts. But I just squandered all of my rupees as well as bombs. So that isn't great. So should I just re-attempt that until I make it? Or should I explore for a little? I mean, there's no point to exploring if I don't commit to also defeating enemies for rupees. There was one dungeon with snakes in it. They they dropped quite a lot of rupees. But I don't know what the point would be in heading back to a dungeon I've cleared already. Let's see, what else could I do? Yeah, no, there's not much in here. Meet the old man at the grave. The thing is, which grave? Look at those navigation skills. Damn. Avoided everything. The thing is, I have no weapons to take on the dragon, no bombs or anything. So I don't see much point in attempting it right now. We'll head around here. Well, I've been here before. This is the path to Dungeon 1, I think. Yeah, this is what I was worried about playing The Legend of Zelda again. I kind of get stuck at this part and don't really know what to do. I also don't really know what's the best way of farming rupees. Well, apparently defeating those. This is dungeon one, but I don't think dungeon one was the one with the rupee farm. Or was it? We'll just see what the first enemies are in here. If they aren't snakes, it's bats. Bats definitely, they barely drop anything. Skeletons. Now, I can't remember what they dropped. It was useful or not. And it was nothing, nothing. It was one rupee. And another rupee. Not exactly great. I felt like the snakes dropped. Every single defeat dropped five rupees. So if I was going to do that, I might as well do it on the snakes. Just to purchase maybe a better shield from that shop that we'd found or something. I think I followed this path last time, didn't I? And I got to a waterfall that I walked into. But again, I don't have enough rupees to uh, purchase the hint.
love how they can hit me, but I can't hit them unless they're sitting. Oh, I was trying to take out this thing in the water. Well, I suppose we'll just leave it. Oh yeah, I can cross this now since I have that ladder. And these, I think, turned out to be a little easier than they look. I always thought that they would knock me out immediately. Oh no, this is... That's one of those riddles again I don't have the solution to yet. More Rockies falling down. What's here? Well, it's an arrow pointing to the, to the left. Quite obviously. I can't interact with these at all, can I? Yeah, I mean, it tells me to go west or whatever, but is that all it's telling me? just win the fourth dungeon, but I'm a bit short on rupees, I think, to do that. Yeah. Okay. Where do we get money? Where do we make quick money? I guess that one dungeon. I'll just go in and defeat all the snakes we can see. Uh, I think I might have gone the wrong way. Nope, I think we're on the right way. Because this here should be the fairy fountain up north. The other fairy fountain I know about. Then I should be close by. I think. Okay, we got rid of all of those. What's in here? <clears throat> Twenty for bombs. I take it that's uh, four again. And 130 for a shield. Why am I so low on rupees? Well, I do know why, because I squandered all my rupees on arrows. Because I only realized after that arrow cost a rupee to throw. There's a heart in case I lose one. Also, can I grab that rupee? No. Was the other temple this direction? No, that's where I just was, I think. It was somewhere around here. Yeah, the button mashing cost me two and a half hearts there. This is where it was here, isn't it? Yeah. But I mean, coming back here to just to farm rupees seems a little weird to be doing. But then again, you know what I have never done? Taken on all of these and checked to see if there was any... Did they have a different path to walk? Well, we're almost dead. for night. Is this the dungeon with the snakes? Let's see. 
Yeah. I mean, look at that. There's plenty of rubies or rupees already. And they can be baited. Oh, yeah, I mistimed that one. They can be baited into attacking, which is makes it sort of easier. Damn, I really don't know what to do now. Oh, well, we're back here, so we might as well take on the snakes and farm rupees then. We even get two hearts. Well, I suppose we get the hearts instead of rupees, so not exactly great. More snakes. Is that five rupees every time? I must remember. So it's 28 now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's why they're so great for farming rupees on. Because I get five rupees every single time. Well, not every single time I defeat one, but oftentimes. Oh, look at this. Freeze. I suppose we're at 40 rupees again already. But how many will I need? If I want to purchase that shield, that's 130. Then I'm going to need a few bombs. Or uh, a dragon also. These don't give anything, I don't think. I don't have any drops. Any great ones. I don't think these ones have great drops either. Yeah, I'm gonna die to them anyway. By the looks of it. I thought whenever I hit them, they bounced away, but apparently not. More snakes, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see too. Did I just get hurt on a snake that couldn't move? I think I did. Which, <laughs> um, oh, in this room here, I think I got the upgraded boomerang, didn't I? I mean, I mean, there's no real consequences to dying here because I keep the rupees and the snakes spawn back. So maybe the play is to actually die after killing five each time. to gain as many rupees as possible. This, this seems like such a weird play. I don't think Zelda games would be into these sort of plays, but you know, maybe they are. I don't know. Nope, these aren't the ones I want to meet. Let's see what's in here. Blobs, or whatever they are. Can I sneak past them? Oh. I didn't pick up the heart. Great. Well, I suppose I'm trying to die anyway. Oh, we're at 60 already. Oh, this is gone. Whatever, the, the flame snake or whatever it was. Yeah, I love those. <laughs> I seem to... Da damage seems guaranteed whenever I run into one of those. Oh, look at the amount of snakes in here. Please drop rupees rather than hearts and things. What am I doing? Okay. Right, so that one seems to be 1, 5 and 2 single. Oh, I have to take all of these on, otherwise I can't leave. Why are they not throwing their boomerangs? Now they are. Um, let's see. This probably was the boss room, wasn't it? Yeah, and then this is where the, the Triforce was. Part of the Triforce. So is the play just to walk in and out of this dungeon until I have enough rupees to buy upgrades? Maybe. That's what we're gonna do for now since we're sort of not locked here, but kind of. 
respawn at the entrance whenever we die. So, oh, what's this room here? Ah, yeah, that's right. The dongo dislikes smoke. So I threw a bomb in front of the dongo and it froze, which allowed me to defeat it. I checked that room, didn't I? So all the enemies just gone now. Oh no, look at these are back. If I could hit the right direction, please. Right, so it's not guaranteed to be a five rupee drop. Sometimes it can be single rupees, but I mean, we're at 80 already. So it looks like we might be able to afford that shield soon already. Yeah. Well, that was only a single rupee. It's another heart. We'll head this way, because I think there was a room here with a lot of snakes in it. There's one, or a few snakes, for a start. Now that looks like a single one and a five. The other way around. And this had a lot of snakes, didn't it? So I'll just stand in the corner here. The timing's not just great yet. Could have used that earlier in the back. We're at 99 rupees, okay. Let's head down and back up. See if the snakes respawn. They don't. Check this room again. If there's no snakes in here, I have to leave the dungeon. Oh, there is. That we're at 101 rupees. I suspect this is the fastest way I can currently uh, farm rupees. So we'll head out and straight back in again and see if the snakes respawn. We'll head here first to see if these ones are back. And they are. Okay, so we're just gonna money glitch this then, in that case. Right, but none of them dropped any rupees there. So, or maybe just all the drops gone now. We still got, well, that was only two rupees, unfortunately. Should be plenty in here. Well, we're healing back as well as gaining rupees off these, so maybe this isn't a bad strat. We're at 110, 20 away from the shield, if that even helps us at all in this situation we're in. 113. So I think the play is actually not to continue through the dungeon, but to head out, because there's four or five rooms here at the start of the dungeon with loads of snakes, so we'll just do that. Head in and out of the dungeon and scam them for, for their rupees. Right, these ones aren't dropping as much. I think that sort of feels like the drop rate has been lowered, but you know, that could just be uh, RNG or unluckiness, but even these aren't dropping anything now. Oh well, I suppose I just got a few rupees. We're 15 away. I don't even care if I take damage, I just want to get these rupees. 117. Feels like they've slowed down a little now. Yeah, the drop rate seems a lot worse now. But we're so close, so we'll just we'll just keep doing this. I suppose there was probably a room further down the dungeon that had more snakes. Maybe with better drop rates or something. Just keep farming rupees here. Yeah, the rate of rupees is feels like it has decreased drastically. 
but we are at 120. Oh, look. Get the heart back that we lose. Not much isn't going to be of much use. We'll just clear these two rooms again. Then can't they see me or what's going on? Right, we're three away from affording the shield, but then we still don't have bombs, so we have to continue this for another bit. And also, where was that cheap shield available? Because I want to purchase it. I don't know if, if it was more expensive at the other merchant, but I think it might have been 160 rupees at the other one. And then that one merchant also had a different weapon that I don't have yet. But it was 250, which seems like too much rupees to be farming right now. Yeah, maybe I just got unlucky with the rupee spawns there a few times. Because this feels like it's sort of back to what I used to see. But almost healed back to full. Also 141... ...143. What should I go for? About a 200. 200 rupees should be enough, I think. Might be more than enough, but I prefer to have more than enough than enough, or not enough. Right, this, but this, yeah. It's gonna take a while to get there. But I can't really see what else I should try to defeat the dragon. So we'll just keep doing this. Also, I could purchase those hints that the old lady offered under the waterfall if I have more rupees. So it might actually be worth going for 300 rupees just to get the hints. But then again, these games are probably solvable without the hints even. Uh, but she might tell us what direction to go in that mountain puzzle, which might unlock the fifth dungeon if we get that right, because the sixth one was unlocked through the hint of the old woman, or through a hint of an old woman. I don't know if they're necessarily the same person or not. 153, 158. Wow, that was great. Nice drops. 170 we're at. I think realistically we're looking at 250 for hint bomb shield. But I might just be wasting my money with the shield. But I'm hoping I take like less damage or something with it. <laughs> As you can see, I would certainly I could use a skill I got or something that reduces damage. What about buying shield, taking on enemies on the way to old woman, and then maybe gaining the rupees off those for the bombs? But definitely if the shop says it seems really expensive, I no longer will be buying the stuff there, because it seems that's actual genuine uh, expression of the price. So maybe twice more, head out of the dungeon and back in. Great start. Right, right let's, let's just stop and get the clock. Come on. 
single root leaf from six or seven snakes. That's not nice, or not what I'm looking for. Well, we're only getting single rupees now. That was five, I think. So we're almost at two. I'd say when we have 200, I'm leaving. Actually, I'm going to leave after I defeat these. No matter what, we are at 200. Can we even carry more than 200? Yes, we can. We're at 205. We're only at one and a half hearts because I stopped focusing on battling properly. I'm just spammed A. Now, where was this closest shop that had the shield on offer at 130? Oh, well done. As far as I remember, we don't lose rupees when we faint or die, so... And there is a fairy fountain around here somewhere. I think up here it was. Of course, I walked straight into that arrow. I think it's north. No, it isn't. Is it east or west? No? Damn, I can't find the fairy fountain anymore. This is the shop, isn't it? 130. Buy something, will ya? So I have a bigger shield now. Open that does some. Let's walk back in and see if we can purchase booms. We can. Should I purchase a few bombs or should I go and buy the hint? I think I'm going to buy the hint. Oh, well, I suppose I'm going to die first. <laughs> but I think I know where the hint is. So, what we're going to do here. I'm going to take a short break. As I can tell, my concentration is waning. Walk around for a bit. Go to the toilet. I'll be right back. And then we'll go and purchase that hint. And head back into the fourth dungeon and take on the dragon once more. Yeah, that's the... Alright. I think some of those shorts that were shown there were showing exactly the old lady I was trying to get to. Or I'm going to try and get to now. should pick up a fairy fountain on the way and the one that I always know for sure where it is is the one up here come on surely we're gonna make it there some of the enemies are taking quite long to load in surely isn't down to the processing power of the switch is it probably the game right full health I think it's just follow the water to get to that hint. I should probably be taking on some of the enemies just to get a few rupees. I think this is the path. Well, this is the path to the first, first dungeon first. Then we'll eventually get... Oh, of course I'll walk straight into it. Look at the amount of rupees we got from them. Okay, so they also seem to drop rupees. I should say a lot of rupees. We don't have to be at full health. I think this is the path west here and then north. Not across the water. And then here along this river, I think there's a waterfall at the end of it. Which makes sense, a river close to a mountain would usually have a waterfall. Yeah, this is it here. 
So she scammed me last time, but it was my own fault because I thought the five would be hemmed. Go up, up the mountain ahead, up, up, so twice up. Can I purchase the other hint also, just in case it's also useful? Pay me and I'll talk. This ain't enough to talk. Right, scammed once again. Up, up on the mountain ahead, which is probably this one here, and then... No, it's not this one. I want to try and take on this thing here. The annoying thing is that there's a thing shooting stuff at me from the water. Oh, I'm not going to get there quick enough. Oh, I can actually go this way now that... Oh, I can't. Okay. thought the ladder would help me close. Can I get the heart? I can. Very good. What was down here? Oh, that's where I got the sword, the upgraded sword, the blue sword that I have now. Unfortunately, that enemy respawned. Right, so it's probably... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not going to make it there, but... Oh, this is it here. This is the one that I was stuck, so it says up, up. Let's see where we get when we go up twice. We just keep loading into the same. Oh, okay, just keep going. And we don't make it to see what it is. Damn. So it's just four times straight ahead. So should I go back and try that? Or should I clear the fourth? I think I should clear the fourth dungeon first, shouldn't I? So that's what we'll do now. This could be a shop here. Is, oh, see the shield's 160 there, so it's definitely more expensive. So we made a value purchase, thankfully. That's the old woman that sells potions. Should I go and buy a potion? No, but that'll just heal me now, won't it? Rather than when I need it to. We're just going to rely on skill, which we know by now I don't have a lot of, but we'll try. I mean, I'm carrying around a massive shield now, but I haven't yet seen the benefits of it. Suppose I could have bought a potion now that I'm at full health, maybe. I have thrown swords. spawns right in front of where I want to go. So we made it to the dungeon at full health. Let's just try it again. Oh, I have no bombs. Doesn't matter. Flip the bombs. Okay, got through there at full health. This is a sneaky one here before the bats show. Good. Now, let's see. Oh boy, oh boy. Right, just take out all the bots, yeah. Don't even bother with aiming anything, just spam the throwing swords. Oh boy, oh boy. We're about to lose health. We didn't yet. That one's heading right for me. Okay. Facing the wrong direction, okay, okay. Alright, only one bat left and we're at full health. Anna just decided to sit down. Wait. Oh, that was more luck than skill, but you know, we'll take it. Uh, I want to see. I want to see. Where is the light? There. I don't walk into my own flame. <gasps> I haven't seen one spawn into two small ones in ages. I thought that sort of stopped. I'm just going to take these out because they seem to drop stuff. Good stuff. Right, this is the sneak room if I can. Oh, the door's wide open. Oh, of course I get jammed. Damn, right, we're not getting to the dragon at full health. If I 
hit again. Gonna get hit again. Right, we're down to three hearts, unfortunately. Walk into the waterfall. That's where we found that other old woman because I was looking for the waterfall that guy is referring to. Let's just keep walking. Why? How do I even avoid that? They don't seem to drop anything, which is not great because I wouldn't mind a bit of health. Say we're gonna have to rely on skill. Uh, I kind of have to leave here to heal back because none of the enemies seem to drop. Why is it sending me back again? I wanted to leave. <laughs> that enemy is pushing me back to the thing every time. Right, okay. Finally, we get out of there. Psycho. Come on, I'm bumping into the walls now. Should I bring a potion? I don't know. We're just gonna head out again. We have four bombs. Okay. Um, I can't remember what the direction is. Move, move, move. Nope. Right. Around the outside. Here we have to be quick before the bats block the entrance. Okay, too late. We're gonna go out and in again. I was worried that one was coming south, but it didn't. Well, this is probably the toughest room here to zero damage through. Oh boy. Okay, we take them out. Nope, that one's heading right in front of the door. I believe we made it through there again. It was more luck than skill. Oh, I have it equipped already. don't know why I pressed that. A fairy. suppose there is something that drops hearts in here. We're at 66 rupees again. This is... Nope. Not we take damage. Oh, and I'm, I can't use my sword when I get hit by that ball. So we're gonna have to do it with two hearts down. Oh yes, the door's wide open. This room's empty. Old man, and then this is the room I haven't figured out how to get past without taking any damage yet. Just keep walking. Oh no, that isn't this room, it's the next room. Okay, I suppose I took damage there too. But two and a half hearts isn't too bad. This is the room here. Why do I get stuck there? And I'm taking unnecessary damage now. Can I clear this room? I'm, I'm gonna... No. Not even gonna make it to the dragon. Damn, half a heart. I have to 
to take out the enemies, I can't touch the stone without taking them on first. Um, well, I mean, is there a point even in trying this? Because I'm just going to waste my bombs. I'm going to try without bombs. No bomb run here. <gasps> that hurts it. Okay. So hit the heads. Hit the heads. I have to go and get health again first. So hitting the head definitely hurt it. I wonder if there's a way of stunning it. I'll have to see. Thankfully this fairy fountain's quite close. Just gonna have to get good. I can't really see anything else like Oh, I now block that with the big shield. That's good to know. Because up to now that was unblockable. So I suppose that's not too bad. Maybe not worth 130 rupees. I necessarily move. get through this room without being hit this time. Let's see. The door's wide open. Oh, it isn't anymore. I wonder if I can knock it back. Oh, oh, I made it through. Unbelievable. I was just about to be hit there. Get out of my way. Right. Here we go. We're still at full health. Now there is a room here that I don't know how to get through at full health, so this is the battery room first. I think here is just to walk straight, isn't it? Yeah. Now this room here, I just don't know how to not take damage. Oh boy. Oh boy, did I just get good? I say that and I'm probably going to take loads of damage from bots here now. We're just spamming in the corner. Watch that one doesn't get us yet. I should use the boomerang here, but... Oh boy. Unbelievable, I got to the dragon. Zero damage. Right, um, should we use bombs? I think we should. The boomerang wouldn't, wouldn't stun the dragon, would it? I don't think it would. So we'll set a wee bomb there. Maybe one there. Right, we're taking damage now. Right, that all doesn't seem to work. But what about if I just walk like in circles up to a head? Alright, that didn't work. 
but that's definitely damaging it. How do I play this? as good as I thought I was yet. So bombs seem to be useless. Fairy fountain or fairy from jellies. And fairy from jellies. Doors open. Swords, which isn't exactly great for this room. And I keep getting stuck behind the walls. Right. Yeah, there's so many bats around, and I'm at one and a half health. Here, potentially, I can heal back. I want light. As a fairy. Of course, they don't drop a fairy. Can I respawn the enemies in this room? No. That's not great because this is now doomed to fail. So how do I do that? There is a chance of dancing around the dragon's attacks and hitting the head and it seems that's where it takes damage and it seems to take only damage from the sword. So what do we do exactly? What do we do? it really is just get good and well, that's not a great start to get good that's terrible let's see if this thing here drops a heart suppose we're still missing half a one maybe we'll get it in the dungeon what's left here. No, nope, don't want to face those. Okay, first room is dance around the vampires. Doors open. Right. Hurry through the bats. Now this room is a little difficult with our throwing swords and we don't have them. Two hearts of damage already. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. Throwing swords definitely. I don't want to say I was confidently beating this room when I had throwing swords, but I did occasionally make it through. Light. And then please drop a fairy. A fairy would be very, very helpful. Waterfall in the dragon room, is there? Okay, 
Okay, just go straight ahead. Yeah, I walked into it again that time. Now there's a vampire rim that is pretty difficult to defeat. You know, I should switch to boomerang for the bats and also to see a oh, come on. freezes enemies sometimes so the hope is that it freezes the dragon also that's why I switched to the boomerang okay, we're stuck in this loop again not again right we're free from the loop And what is a blue potion and what is a red potion? Do you have any stats that are blue? Not really. Hmm. Red potion is the color of hearts, so. Do I have that in my inventory now? Oh, I do. Okay, let's get back to the dragon. So I squandered it last time I did that. I thought I tried that and it didn't work out. Why do I... Oh, because I switched around out the arrow equipped rather than the whole uh, boomerang. Okay. So I need to work with the boomerang. I need to freeze enemies in place, take them out before they move again. I just have to get good. That's it all. Okay, we got into the dungeon without any big trouble. Alright, let's try again. Doors not clear. And where are they going? Yeah, Earth. Oh, no. okay. Quick, 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 quick. We're through. Right now, freeze with boomerang, then take out. Freeze with boomerang. That's not how I meant to do it, but we're doing it this way now because I'm sort of committed to it. <laughs> right, freeze back there, boys. Or vampires or whatever. No, they're f they're frozen the door frame. Uh oh. Of course, I take one heart's damage, two heart's damage, two and a half. Oh, we do have the potion. But I wanted to use the potion mid battle, not start the battle. Please give us a fairy, please. The one time I could really use a fairy, especially now that you've hurt me. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There's a heart. Would have preferred a fairy. They probably only drop fairies when you're at full health. My guess right now. Oh, the door's open. Right around the outside. Free, not in the door frame. Right. Yeah, working with the boomerang should be better than what I was doing up to now. Right, boomerang here also for the bats, just launch it forward to clear a path straight down the middle. Didn't quite work out as I had hoped, but oh, and now don't get caught. Unbelievable. Line up the path. Now. Freeze, take out. 
Okay, that's not how I meant to do it. Get back here, boomerang. Stop flipping around. health. I kind of feel like using the potion here is a waste. Could it even heal me all the way? Does blue potion just mean empty bottle? I'm going to throw the boomerang at the dragon's head to see if it freezes a head in place or something. No, it doesn't do anything, unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to dodge hit. Oh, I almost walked into, I walked into that one. Now I no longer have the throwing swords. I'm going to have to hit the actual heads. Wasted that potion. Oh boy. Okay, 21 rupees is not enough to buy a potion again, unfortunately. Let's see what happens when it's blue and I press B. I can heal twice off the potion, off the red one. And I just wasted it. Am I an Egypt? Okay. So we need to get money back to to purchase that red potion again, because that is how we're gonna win. We'll take on these enemies down here. I think there's spinners, yeah. Spinners I think dropped coins, didn't they? Or rupees I should say, not coins. Okay, I'm just getting destroyed here. So I have two goes at that potion. That's great to know. Not really looking for hearts, looking for rupees. I could just go to dungeon two again and farm off the snakes, but I feel like we've tried that already. So what we're gonna do is, I think there's spinners here, isn't there? Or further up. Where the spinners were. Right, that was not worth it. Who else drops a lot of rupees, I wonder? And some bombs. This is like a fake fairy fountain, or a non-fairy fountain fountain. Right, so we solved the riddle to probably get the dungeon 5 of the waterfall. Oh, this one requires two hits. But I don't really want hearts, I prefer rupees. Or bombs is also good. Stock up on those. Seems their drops are just bombs and hearts. But you know, doesn't really make them very uh, interesting for taking out or farming off of. Oh, 
that's the fake fire fountain. Right, we'll go to the real one. How much was that potion? It was 60, I think, wasn't it? Rupees or something. Damn, if I hadn't known that. Great, let's head back to the fairy fountain. Just about avoided damage there. A single one. We're just gonna try again. Use boomerang on the way in. I suppose I could also use bow and arrow, but that wastes rupees as far as I remember. Each arrow it costs one rupee. Freeze that one in place. Move through. And clear the door here. That was more luck than skill. Freeze one of these. We're going for panic strats again. Oh, of course. Right, let's hope the jellies give us a heart back. Let's hope the jellies give us two hearts. Give us a rupee, that's not bad either. Come on. Another rupee, or that was five rupees. It's a single one again. No fairies, unfortunately. Oh. Of course. Oh, I've done so much damage. Yeah, it's not even going to be worth the attempt because I'm going to take too much damage. The shield doesn't block the attacks by the dragon by the looks of things. Yeah, just free a path. And then don't get caught here. And now I have to take out these. And they don't drop any items. suppose I took them out without taking any damage. The unfortunate thing is just that I'm so badly hurt already. Damn, what are we going to do? Yeah, we just take too much damage there. Okay, we need more rupees. We need potion because I'm going to have to force my way through that dragon. I don't see how I'm going to skill my way through it. No rupees there. I think this way had a few spinners that like giving rupees or dropping rupees. Boy, this would be great. I suppose one rupee. And 
just take a lot of these and not. There isn't much point to it. This is the wrong dungeon, isn't it? Yeah, for. Can I freeze these also? And why doesn't it attack the pods? My controller is caught. Or that's the signal that my controller wasn't getting through because it was behind my knee. Oh, now we don't even respond inside the dungeon. just gonna brute my brute force my way through that dragon so what I want is 68 rupees hearts aren't what I'm looking for and these doggos don't drop they drop bombs and and hearts no rupees Okay. What to do? Where are we going to get these rupees from? And there is a dungeon down here. On. Here and then into the east. Jeez, this guy's a genius. Avoiding all of my attacks. Suppose it's rupees, so we'll take them. I'm looking to see if there's any secrets here. If it's again just bodies. Looks like there won't be any hidden stairs or anything here. Let's see the last one. Would be weird to have the stairs right beside the entrance. I think this is the third dungeon, yeah. Let's see if what these enemies drop. 
Oh, slimes. They dropped an odd rupee, didn't they? That was actually five rupees. That's another five rupees. Okay, this might be the place to, to farm for now. We don't need too many more. So I'd like to get that. There's a fairy, the thing we always wanted from them. Right, we're at 52 already, we're 68. Oh, surely they give us rupees. Please attack. Oh, I can't attack from the front. Forgot about that. Just continue to a different room because I don't really want to void out here. Jellies? No, bats. That's not great. Oh, yeah, this is more bats. I remember where I am now. Okay. So we'll just head in here, or well, I suppose we spawn inside it. We'll take out a few of the jellies again. Hope we get the 68. Buy a potion. Berry fountain. Dungeon 4 final attempt for this part, or for today's stream. Maybe. Could have used that earlier. 54, so we need 14 more. Did I even defeat one or is it just two this time? No, we're not even going to bother with that room this time. We're going to go straight ahead. If the door path is open, it is. Jellies, that's the ones I like to see. Oh, and it'll get to the rippy before it despawns. So we need three now. Oh, we have it. We're not even going to bother with going any further. We're just going to leave, head to the fairy fountain. On the way back from the fairy fountain to the dungeon, to dungeon number four, we'll buy that potion that I can apparently drink twice, which is great knowledge. And then just brute force my way through the dragon. Just stand in front of the head, attack it, use the potion before I faint or die. That's what the plan is. It's not the greatest plan, it's not the most elegant plan, but it might get me a win. And that's all I want. Progress. Progress above all. For today's stream. And we did also discover the hidden path through that one place, which might be Dungeon 5. Unfortunately, I died before I made it into it. So... It would have been hilarious if she had increased the price because I threw the sword at her. That would have been very funny. Right, do we make it through? It's always going to be hit there. Ooh, zero damage. Still zero damage. Right, we get in zero damage. Gonna keep the boomerang equipped in order to freeze enemies. Freeze you there. The right, path is open. And just, yeah, path was wide open. Let's uh, freeze, no, we'll just spam swords again. I know it isn't elegant, but you know. You blue bat, you almost got me. Path is open, just get out of here. I don't know why I was attempting to take them on. At the jellies room. I do prefer light in here. Oh, but they're frozen, okay. Getting money back here for purchasing potentially another potion in case this goes wrong. Right. Oh boy. Please. Yeah, pass is clear. This is what room again? Oh yeah, this one. Oh, there's too many up here. 
Right, just pop, can you just keep going, yeah. Right, old man, then bathroom. Bathroom, I sometimes take a hit. I'm trying not to, and then the room after that. I don't know, it seems out of my control if I take a hit or not. Right, let's just pass through. Right, clear a path and head through, that's the way to do it, and then head upwards. Upwards while walking through. Oh boy, that worked out perfectly. Line up for the... Okay. I mean, if I don't make it this time, there isn't much hope to tell you the truth. I don't think. Oh boy, that went a little on the way back. Come on, look at that. Full health with the potion that I can use twice to fully restore my health. I mean, if I fail this time, I'm not beating Dungeon 4. Come on, taking two hits for a single hit back. What is that? Do I touch that or I don't touch it? Heal back. Well, that's a head. A head flew off. All right. I feel like I scammed my way through that, but progress is progress. We finally have another piece of the my force. I think there's some time left here, so what we'll do is we'll get back to that other place that I found behind the waterfall, or close to the waterfall, and see where that takes us, if it is the fifth dungeon maybe, or not. We also still have one use of the potion left, as I walk into a spinner, that's what I'm going to call him for, for now, because I don't know. I should, I should look up all the names of the enemies, because they have very cool names, and it is part of the returning, or like they return as part of the franchise in later games and all that. Of course, trying to avoid the rocks I'll walk into, they are guys fire spitting. Right, so it wasn't this ladder, it was the next one path is clear, and I just brute force my way northwards was the solution, I think. I think I went four times. One more time. Right. Do I want to check for potential... Well, go in first and see what it is. It is the fifth dungeon, as I suspected. That's great. But what we're going to do first is take on all of these. Because I want to see if there's a hidden path. There hasn't really been, I don't think, beside any dungeons yet. Uh, where are you going to, boy? Come back here. Come back. I guess I'll spawn a second one just to make life that much harder for myself. Yeah, you see, I knew there was going to be something here. It's an alternate entrance to five. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... So I don't really know what we're going to do here. Should I... You know what? We'll try five. I'm only at one and a half hearts. If I die, I res... What the flip is that? I guess I die to bunnies. So... No, I haven't quite played as long. 
not quite two hours we're at 139 deaths but i think that's going to be it for the legend of zelda and i'll probably move